We're here with uh, Richard from Live Target, Marcus Brands. Hey, pleased Marcus. to meet you. Big pleased fan of Live Target. Uh, what do they got out new for 2012? Okay, we've got several several new lures. Uh, first of all, would be the uh, um, the rainbow trout and the brown trout. Okay. Um, these were made for our West Coast anglers, a lot of guys in Utah, Montana, and stuff like that. But these are going to be really, really good. Uh, first thing in the spring, Lake Ontario, fishing for brown trout and rainbow trout off the planer boards. Yeah. Uh, basically, from there, we move to uh, our new banana baits. Uh, the banana baits are all in our, our smelt patterns. Okay. Um, they come in, in three different sizes. You've got your small, medium, and large, and different diving depths. Uh, each uh, there's different colors so you can get the gold black the ghost bronze yeah. the, the silver silver uh, bronze and the silver black um, so okay go on sorry no go ahead no I was just curious the banana you said the banana bait kind of thing how right. does that act how does that curve actually affect the lure in the water what it does it gives it more of a kick in the lure and it's okay. a more of a, a deeper diving bait mm -hmm. uh, it's more of a troll bait than what you would traditionally call like a jerk bait okay okay uh, as as opposed to our our natural smelt, the straight ones, mm -hmm. yep. a lot of the guys are using these as jerk baits, uh, cranking them down and snapping them and, and using them for, for pike and walleye and Lake Erie big time for walleye and stuff like that. Um, I'm using these up on lakes uh, in the northern lakes like Lake mm -hmm. Nipissing, so on and so forth. They're very effective on bass, by the way, those absolutely. two. Oh, absolutely. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> now, what's brand new this year is we have all new colors in our crawfish, yeah. in our crayfish patterns. What we've done is we've enhanced the baits. We've added, uh, you know, the, the eyes are all red now. The baits are now all glossy. There's cutout sections that you can clearly see the definitive sections of the crayfish. Um, and uh, these have been a, an absolute go-to bait uh, for smallmouth bass up in, there, in and around the rocks and around the docks and the deadfalls. Yeah, now that clear body bait Allowing what the water transparency to get through it, kind of thing. Absolutely, it is going to allow. More realistic. Right, it's going to allow the light to get through it. You can actually see it. You can see right through it in yep. the bottom, and that's what the, the fish is seeing. This is an actual crayfish form. You can feel that the bait actually has indentations on it where the where the the, the claws of the fish are or the, the bait is, yep. and where the tail of the bait yep. is. Yeah, So uh, that comes in a, all uh, a whole bunch of new colors. Uh, so that's all new this year. Um, we have still our, our smallmouth and our largemouth lures. That's mm -hmm. been a standby for our company yeah. since, the, since the company opened. And then we move over into the, uh, the sunfish section, I guess, yeah. as you will. This is a, just our bluegills. We have the exact same amount of baits as this, uh, but they're also in pumpkin seeds. Now, the interesting thing about this, what we've done this year is we've made what's called a square bill. A square bill, if you can see it, it's actually got a square bill on it. And what this is made for is a, a deflection bait. Yep. Okay. If you take a, a bait that has a round bill, when it hits objects, it's going, to, it's going to bounce and weave its way. But this square bill is designed to be very erratic. When it's hitting rocks and stumps, it's bouncing all over the place. Yep. Uh, that comes in two finishes, the matte finish and the metallic finish, you can see the differences. Yeah. Clear water, bright days, as opposed to cloudy water or darker days. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is our, our new frog, or our, sorry, our new mouse. This one best in show at ICAST, uh, best soft bait, production lure. And what it is, it's real simple. Bass and trout eat mice. They come in two colors and four sizes. So you've got your gray, your black, your brown, and your white. Uh huh. The way we've designed this bait, it actually has a weight in the back end of it. The bait actually sits in the water, nose up, head up, feet up, just like a mouse would swim on the water. Totally weedless, custom built hooks. Skirt guards are very, very strong. Yeah. Going to be very, very effective for largemouth and smallmouth bass. That was best in show. No kidding. Yeah, that's that's really <laughs> that's a really neat lure. Yeah. Um, this year what we've also done is we've come out with different colors in our frogs. You can see we've got a black on black. Back when we were kids, we used to fish black hula poppers, jitterbugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a black on black. It's a very good silhouetting bait. And then you can go right over here. I like to call this our disco frog. It's black on the bottom, but it's very chartreuse. Or black on the top, very chartreuse on the, on the bottom. Yeah. Um, once again, totally weedless. Uh, this was best in show 
at ICAST in 2010. Wow. So our frogs. Now our frogs also come in, in a new size. That's the smallest size. Yeah. And they come in all the colors. And all, all, um, so that is our, our new size. That's the ounce, ounce and a half size. So we have the, the frogs in the eight different colors mm -hmm. and three different sizes. New this year, or actually not last year was new, yeah. is the new gizzard shads. The gizzard shads, the models that I have in the hand, these are jigging, yep. vertically jigging for dragging. It's a search bait. It's it's full of BBs. Yeah. Okay. Different BBs in regard as opposed to the golden shiner. You can hear the different sounds. One's yeah. a heavier and one's a lighter sound. Mm -hmm. This has got a glass rattle in it. Yeah. Um, they're both very, very effective search baits. The neat thing about the uh, the Golden Shiner is it'll actually stand on its nose. So when you drop it to the bottom, it's not going to lay flat on yeah. the bottom. It will stand on its nose and you can vertically jig it. Um, Mimicking the little bait fish feeding off the bottom yeah, as you, you rip it up and it comes back down and That's sits correct. there. That's correct. Or yeah. a bait fish mim uh, mimicking a bait fish on the bottom or a bait fish that's in distress. Yep. Right, and it's darting here and darting there. Very effective bait, Very by effective. the way. Very effective bait. Yes, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're uh, yeah, the bass love them, the walleye love them, yeah. and the pike love them. Uh, once again, the gizzard shad, but this time with the lipped model, okay? Yeah. And we've also come out with a new bait. You can actually see this. It's a ghost, it's a ghost pattern. It's semi-transparent. You can okay, actually yeah. see the ball bearings uh -huh. working in there. Once again, a very, very effective bait. So that's our, that is our freshwater line of live targets. Okay. Not speaking at all about our saltwater line, which is double as double big as the this. Size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got some new stuff in here, like the, the double prop baits. Okay, Those are yeah. great, great search baits on the surface, mm -hmm. right, with the double props. And then you have your wake baits, which actually cause a wake behind your bait. You can stick your tip down. You can get it six inches to a foot deep. Or what you can do is raise your tip up and you'll actually get a wake behind the bait. Just So it's just subsurface, just that, ever so slight subsurface. That is correct. It can be subsurface or you can crank it right on the surface. As opposed nice. to our swim baits, the yeah. articulated swim baits, they'll sink to whatever depth you want them to sink. Yeah. We have a slow sinking, we have a fast sinking, three different sizes, four different colors. Yeah. Uh, that has been uh, a big hit in places like Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. Guys are using them now as the smelt population starts to rebound in Lake Huron. They're using the smaller ones. Yeah. Uh, they're dragging them behind planer boards or they're using them behind uh, um, uh, the downriggers. But uh, guys like Charlie Ray from Fishful Thinking have been using them with very good success uh, for pike. Yeah. And uh, using them in northern Manitoba, northern Ontario for pike. They're a fabulous bait. And they hold the color, they hold the shape, even with those big toothy critters. Absolutely, you know. absolutely. Uh, we pride ourselves in building a super realistic, very durable bait. Mm -hmm. These aren't decals, these are hand painted lures. And uh, that is the whole premise behind the company to build a bait that's as absolutely as lifelike as possible. For example, this is our, our walk, walk the Frog. It's, yep. it, it looks exactly like a leopard frog, except what we've done with it, instead of having the bait sitting on the water flat, which a frog never does, we've actually put weight in its tail. So what it'll do, it'll sink and it'll mimic a frog sitting in the water. If this is the water level, it'll actually sit with its nose up. It like makes it. it very easy to walk because the nose is up, it's not flat. Yeah. So you can twitch it, four o'clock, yeah, you know, so you get that walk the dog and, and the way she and goes. You get the walk the dog yeah. action. Really, really effective around brush piles, on the edge of weed lines like lily pads, around docks. Pull the bass out, get them up off the bottom to hit the bait. Nice. So that's basically what we have in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, once again, there's, there's many other different baits that we have, but that's what we have here at the show. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Right, that sir. was very informative. All right, thank thank you. you. All right.